What's up, y'all? Um, I wanted to get on here real quick and make a video um, about something that's been dropped in my heart and my mind in light of everything that's been going on uh, right now. Um, we're sitting on a moment. We're sitting on a huge moment. Probably the biggest, one of the biggest moments in history. Um, it's a moment we've all been waiting for. It's a moment we've been praying for. It's a moment we've been thinking about our grandparents, great, great grandparents, our parents, and us as people of color have been thinking about and waiting for it all along. We're sitting on that moment right now, right here today. And what do I mean by that? People are starting to wake up. People are starting to have their ears open. People are starting to have their hearts softened. Where they're starting to see and, he, and listen to the stories that we're saying and the things that we're, we're lamenting about and the things that we're talking about on social media and realizing, wait, there's a, there, there is a serious problem here. And we can't let up. We can't stop. We can't get tired. I know we want it. I know that, that, that that's the thought of some people is like, oh man, this is exhausting. Always having to talk about these things and have these conversations and get in these uncomfortable situations and protest and post and have people fight back vehemently and they're on their side, but it doesn't matter. It, the moment is right now. We're in the moment where we can shift the future of our kids and our grandkids and our great great grandkids where when year 2050 and 2070, 2080, 2090, they're looking back at 2020 and saying that's the year when the people of 2020 that were living in that moment shifted and changed the narrative for, for the rest of humanity for forever. Um, we're on that moment right now today. If you're posting, keep posting. If you support Black Lives Matter, if you support, support people of color and starting to have those conversations with, about, with, with people of color to understand where our perspective is, keep doing that. If you're if you're protesting peacefully, continue to protest peacefully. If you're if you're a, a business owner, a pastor, if you're a leader of some kind, and you have black people or people of color that are supporting you, speak up, stand up, be a bridge for us, because it's it's right now where you can affect the the, the lives of so many others that come after you, because you seize this moment right here, right now. If you believe in what's happening, if you're seeing what's happening, you believe that there's a, a chance, even a small chance for change, this is the time to do it. This is the time to seize that moment because it's not going to come around again. We may not get this chance, the, the, the chance that we have right now. People are ripe to hear us. People are listening. It's in the forefront of all of our minds. We're seeing it. We're hearing it every day. We understand that something is going on. The air around this, the energy around this is different. This is that moment. This is the moment. We cannot let it pass us by. We can't sit idly and get tired and say we're, we're, we're exhausted with these conversations. Yes, I know. Trust me, I've had a bunch of those conversations. They're really exhausting. They can be really exhausting. But the seeds that we're planting now is going to set up future generations to not have to deal with these things in the future or maybe deal with them less. Any progress is progress. This is the moment. So I encourage you, if you're watching this video, if you know me, if you know other people of color, if you know other black brothers and sisters, and you're white, I want you to step up and say, I feel it. This is that moment too. What can I do to learn? What can I do to understand? What can I do to get in those conversations? We all need to step up. We all need to come together and understand that this is the moment where we could really see change forever. So I encourage y'all to do it. Um, I love y'all, man. I want to see change just as much as y'all do, if you believe it. Let's break the box.